Good morning students. Today we are going to do exercise 57 of chapter 14 geometry. But before starting to solve the questions of this exercise, let us understand what are straight lines and curved lines? What are closed figures and open figures? What are polygons and different types of polygons? So children, let us start with straight line. What is a straight line? Children, when you draw a line using a ruler, you get a straight line. This straight line can be vertical, horizontal or slanting. Whereas, when you draw by moving a pencil along a curved edge of a coin or the cap of a bottle, you get a curved line. Now, if this curve begins and ends at the same point, then the curve is called as a closed figure. Like this circle which we have drawn using the cap of the bottle, it starts at the same point and ends at the same point. So this curved figure or circle is called as a closed figure. But if it does not end at the same starting point, then we call it as an open figure. Like in this figure, the ending point of the curve is not touching the starting part of the curve. So this figure is an open figure. Now let's understand what is a polygon. Children, a polygon is a simple closed figure which is formed of three or more than three line segments. Like you can see this image, this is a polygon which is made with four line segments. The line segments which form a polygon are called its sides and the point at which two adjacent sides of a polygon meet is called as a vertex of the polygon. The plural of vertex is vertices. So, the polygon which is shown here in this image has four sides and four vertices. So, this is all about polygons. Now, let's understand different types of polygons. First is triangle. A polygon with three sides is called as a triangle. It has three vertices. Vertex A, Vertex B and Vertex C. Let's move on to quadrilaterals. Children, quadrilateral is a simple closed figure which is bounded by four line segments. Yes, here you can see the image of a quadrilateral. It has got four line segments. And so by seeing this figure of quadrilateral A, B, C, D, we can make out that this quadrilateral has four sides, namely A, B, B, C, C, D and D, A. And similarly, it has got four vertices as well. Vertex A, Vertex B, Vertex C and Vertex D. Now children, what are adjacent sites? Children, adjacent sites are those sites which have common vertex. For example, in this image, side AB and side DA. These two sites have a common vertex A. So these two sites, side AB and side DA, these two are the adjacent sites. Now, what are opposite sides in a quadrilateral? In this quadrilateral ABCD, AB and CD make one pair of opposite sides. They are facing each other. So, they are opposite sides. Similarly, BC and AD also make another pair of opposite sides. Now, there is an important term called diagonal. What are diagonals? The line segments joining the opposite vertices of a quadrilateral are called its diagonals. For example, in this quadrilateral ABCD, there are two diagonals, namely AC and BD. These two are the diagonals which are joining the opposite vertices. Now, there are different types of quadrilaterals. The quadrilaterals which we generally come across are rectangle and square. So, rectangle is a quadrilateral in which opposite sides are equal and the diagonals are also equal. So this is the property of a rectangle. Like here in this rectangle, PQ and RS, these two opposite sides are equal and PS and QR, these two sides are also equal. So in a rectangle, opposite sides are always equal. Similarly, the two diagonals, the diagonal PR and the diagonal QS. Both the diagonals are equal. Now what is a square? 
Square is also a kind of quadrilateral in which all the four sides are equal. For example, here in this image you can see all the four sides EF, FG, GH and EH. They all are equal and the diagonals are also equal. The diagonals in this figure are EG and FH. Both of them are equal. Now children, there are some more types of polygons. After quadrilateral, there is a pentagon. Pentagon is a polygon which has got five sides. So it has got five vertices as well. The next kind of polygon is hexagon. Hexagon is a polygon that has got six sides and it has got six vertices as well. The polygon with seven sides is called as a heptagon. It has got seven sides and seven vertices. A polygon with eight sides is called as octagon. It has got eight sides and eight vertices. Now based on our understanding about closed and open figure, polygons, different types of polygons and their properties, let's move forward and solve exercise 57. Question number one, which of the following are simple closed curves? Children in this question, instead of finding simple closed curves, we have to find simple closed figures. Children, simple closed figures are the figures which do not intersect itself. Like here in question number one, figure A, B, D, E and G. These are all simple closed figures as they are not open from any side and none of their lines are intersecting or you can say cutting each other. So these are all simple closed figures. Question number two, which of the following figures are polygons? Now we all know that polygons are simple closed figures which are formed of three or more line segments. So here we can see that the figure number B, C, E, G and H are the figures which are made of either three or more than three line segments. Question number three, which of the following polygons are quadrilaterals? Children, as we know that quadrilaterals are the polygons which have four sides. So out of the five options given, figure A and E are quadrilaterals. Question number four, fill in the blanks. Part A, a polygon is a figure formed by more than dashed line segments. So we all know a polygon is a figure which is formed by more than two line segments. Question number B, a polygon formed by only three line segments is called a dash. So it's a triangle. We'll write triangle in the given space. Part C, a polygon formed of only four line segments is called a dash. So a polygon formed of only four line segments is a quadrilateral. So we will write here quadrilateral. Part D, a triangle has dash vertices and dash sides. So we all know a triangle has three vertices and three sides. Part E, a quadrilateral has dash vertices and dash sides. So we all know a quadrilateral has four vertices and four sides. Part F, a curve which ends at the starting point is called a dash. So we all know a curve which ends at the starting point is called as closed figure. Part G, the diagonals of a quadrilateral are equal. Then this quadrilateral is either a dash or a dash. So children, if the diagonals of a quadrilateral are equal, then that quadrilateral is either a rectangle or a square. So in one blank we will write rectangle, in the other one we will write square. Part H, in a rectangle, the pairs of dash sides are equal. So we all know, in a rectangle, the pairs of opposite sides are equal. Part I, a point where two sides of a polygon meet is called its vertex. So here in this blank we will write vertex. Question 5, state whether each of the following statements is true or false. Part A, every square is a rectangle. So this is true. The property of rectangle is opposite sides are equal. In square also opposite sides are equal. Rather in square all the sides are equal. 
but this particular criteria is also fulfilled that the opposite sides are equal in a rectangle. So every square is also a rectangle. This is true. B. All quadrilaterals are rectangles. This is false. All quadrilaterals are not rectangles. C. The diagonals of a quadrilateral are always equal. This is false. There are some quadrilaterals in which the diagonals are not equal. So this is a false statement. Part D. The opposite sides of a quadrilateral may have a common vertex. So this is a false statement. The opposite sides of a quadrilateral never have a common vertex. Question number 6. Name the sides and vertices of each of the following triangles and quadrilaterals. Now children for this question there are four parts. There are some figures of triangles and quadrilaterals. We have to write the name of the sides and the vertices of each of the following figures. First is part A. This is the figure of a triangle named ABC. So the sides of this triangle are AB, BC, CA. Children you can write the sides as AB or BA. Both are same. BC or CB. That is also same. AC or CA. This is all same. So you can write the name of the sides in any way. And the vertices of this triangle ABC are vertex A, vertex B and vertex C. Part B, triangle PQR. In this triangle, there are three sides and the name of these sides are PQ, QR and RP. And the three vertices of this figure are vertex P, vertex Q and vertex R. Let's move on to part C. This is the figure of a quadrilateral and it has got four sides. The name of the sides are AB, BC, CD and DA. And the four vertices are vertex A, vertex B, vertex C and vertex D. Let's move on to the figure number D. This is the figure of a square. The four sides of the square are PQ, QR, RS, SP. And the four vertices of this figure are vertex P, vertex Q, vertex R and vertex S. Question number 7. Draw a quadrilateral. Name it PQRS. Write the names of the four sides and two diagonals. So children, you will draw a quadrilateral. We all know a quadrilateral has got four sides. So any figure having four sides, be it a square or rectangle, you can draw that quadrilateral and name it as PQRS. And after that, we will write the names of all the four sides and the two diagonals. Like the names of the four sides of this quadrilateral are PQ, QR, RS and SP. And the two diagonals are PR and SQ. So children, in this way, exercise 57 is done. I hope you learned something new in today's class. If you like the explanation of this exercise, do give a thumbs up. And in case you have any doubt related to this exercise, write the same in the comment box. I'll try to get back to you as soon as possible. All the best children.